What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about example 2.1 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, find the electric field a distance z above the midpoint between two equal charges with the same charge q and distance d apart as shown in figure 2.4a okay so let me draw first figure 2.4a okay so figure 2.4a looks like this so if this is your x-axis and this is your z-axis okay so the charges are located here so this will be q and q okay these two charges are separated by distance d so that means from the midpoint this will be d over 2 and this is d over 2 okay and then at this point this is where we want to calculate because the distance between these points would be z. Okay, this is the z axis. Okay, so this is our point B. Now, so this is a combination. This uh, We are going to use the principal superposition wherein the force exerted by the left charge on our charge uh, on the point i'm uh, sorry the electric field uh, produced by the left charge at point p okay uh, can be sum vectorially to the electric field produced by the right charge at the same point because the two charges are positive okay so the charge here Let's call this Q1, just to differentiate the two, and this is Q2. The charge Q1 will, with at magnitude Q will have an electric field directed in this direction. Same goes, this. so let's call this E1, and this will have an electric field here. Okay? Now, as shown here, the horizontal components of E1 and E2 will have the same because both uh, charges are equidistant from the point that we want to calculate the electric field and the source charges have equal magnitudes. So if we're going to use the equation for the magnitude of the electric field, so that is 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times Q over R squared. Because R and Q for both Q1 and Q2 for point P are the same. Therefore, the magnitude of E1, the magnitude of E1 is equal to the magnitude of E2. Okay, but we cannot cancel this together because uh, these are vectors. So we cannot uh, uh, just uh, cancel them just by looking at the magnitude. And as you will notice that this will produce a net electric field that is pointing in the positive z direction if you're going to use your polygon method so this will be your net electric field okay so in other words the horizontal components of e1 and e2 cancel each other and their vertical components just add up okay so uh, the vertical component okay is easy okay and this is equal to e1 so let's call this e1z and that is equal to e1 times uh if this is theta okay e1 this one e1z would be this is theta as well so that would be cosine theta which is the same as uh e to cosine theta which is our e to z so in other words in the 
net or the the vertical component or the net the magnitude of the net electric field will be equal to ez which is 2 e1z or this is 2 uh, times 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times q over let's call this script r let's call this script r so this is script r squared times cosine theta now what is cosine theta okay cosine theta will just be the uh, ratio of z and r so cosine theta will be uh, z over script r but script r is equal to z squared plus d over 2 squared and then you take the square root okay okay so if you're going to notice here this becomes uh, 1 uh, 2q over 4 pi epsilon naught so let's maintain the 4 pi epsilon naught con uh, coefficient here so that's 2q over so that's 1 over script r cube times z okay z as i mentioned here is in terms of z and uh, in terms of z and d over 2 r would be square root of uh, z squared plus d squared over 4 okay so therefore the net electric field will be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 qz divided by z squared plus d squared over 4 to the 3 halves z hat and this is the net electric field now let's say that consider the that point p is very far away from the origin so what does it mean is that uh, if p is very very far away so that means z is much much greater than the distance between q1 and q2 so if that's the case okay this will just cancel and uh, this will be negligible okay so the net result would be the net electric field would be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2q because this becomes z square uh, z cube because z squared to the 3 halves would be z cube z divided by z cube would be z squared okay z hat so what does it mean it means that for points very very far away from the origin these two charges the distance between the two charges will be uh, will not matter anymore so by and in the perspective of our point this two uh, the this two charges is just equivalent to one charge with charge 2q so you notice that this is 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times the charge the combined charge of q1 and q2 divided by the distance from the charge to the point that we want to calculate the electric field okay very simple right okay amazing so that's all for now so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye